I miss the days where viral videos were mostly just cute animals doing cute little things and not grown adults or deranged little kids doing insane TikTok pranks. It's insane, these last few days, my entire social media feeds have been filled with depraved idiots doing pranks that would most likely get them strung up in a Salem witch trial event where they would be burned as a witch because these people are demented when you see the videos I'm about to show. So I'm gonna go in order from still pretty depraved to just outward insanity. Starting with this one, which is supposed to be a prank about trying to put down someone's dog. I'm gonna have to put her down. Look. Bro, what the fuck? I'm gonna have to put her down. Yo, get the no, fuck away from no. my dog, bro. The fuck? Why did you just throw the dog like that, bro? What? What is that? Yo, get, get away from me. Violet, come on. Yo, that's not cool, bro. It's, it's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank, bro. And uh, they were wondering why they threw the dog. They were just scared. They were scared that this insane weirdo on the streets might actually have an injection that could take down their dog. Uh, you, here's one thing in life. Do not mess with people's pets. Have you not watched John Wick? This is how you get that. You mind if I take him up? I love dogs, you yeah. know. Yeah, they're pretty cool animals. Mind if I put him down? Yeah, you can put him down. Alright. It's kind of all the time. I'm gonna just put him down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what are you doing, dude? No, I'm gonna put him down. Put him down with what, dude? You said to put him down. I'm talking about putting him down. You put him down on the floor? Why would you do that? Because you say I can put him down. No, don't be crazy, dude. So, at this point, you gotta understand what this prank is. Basically, he asks if he could put up the dog, and then he asks, can I put the dog down? And, of course, the owner's like, yeah, put the dog down that's what any sane person would think right uh no he decides to use it as a pun a joke yeah i'm gonna put the dog down clearly this was a person who was just sitting on, on their couch one day and was like put down dog i could use this as a prank like it, it's just and the fact is it, these are complete strangers like if it was your friend sure your friend would laugh it off haha that's funny because hey that's just, they're familiar with you. They'll understand that this person's not gonna really do it. For a stranger, they have no idea what you're gonna do. He's so cute. Might I put it down? I don't know. Yeah, you're breathing a little too, too you seem sick. I'm gonna put you down. I'm gonna put her down. You wanna, oh, what's that? What is that for? I'm gonna put her down. What do you mean? You said to put her down, right? Oh, no, 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 no. What do you mean? No, I'm gonna put her down. What, do you, what does that mean? No, put she's down. she's having complications breathing, so I'm gonna put her down. I thought you meant put her down. No, no, I'm gonna put her down, down. What do you mean down, down? Like down, down, like, ugh. No, what are you talking about? You're crazy, bro. What you mean, bro? No, no, watch out, bro. It's a prank, bro. <laughs> So what would you do if I had put her down though? Shit, I'll kill you. Bro. Look, here's the thing. I used to watch this channel that did, um, well, I, not channel, YouTube. Uh, <laughs> it's all on YouTube. It's basically these pranks, uh, professional kinds of pranks with actual teams. It was from a show. I think it was based in the UK, maybe America. Uh, you guys probably have seen some of the clips that have gone viral based on like TikTok edits, like the man who sees death and just slowly accepts it. That's a pretty iconic one. I remember really touches the heart the way he accepts it. Um, yeah, those are actual pranks in a sense that it doesn't really... Well, the death one kind of traumatizes people, but majority of their pranks are pretty lighthearted and uh, they actually generally get a laugh out of people, especially the so-called pranky, the one being pranked. This doesn't really do that. This puts them in a state of panic that what is going to happen to my dog in this said case. <sighs> There's better ways to do pranks, uh, but this was tame this one was tame compared to what i'm showing next uh, so <laughs> down where we go in this dante's inferno yeah so the last tiktoker was it was an insane prank but at least <sighs> at least it wasn't like this where it starts getting confrontational my name is paul and i work at 7-eleven can i check her out can, it, can i use your login Okay, okay. As you can see, the guy starts off as pretending to work at a 7-Eleven for TikTok or wherever he's deciding to post this as uh, entertainment. 
and it goes as well as you expect because then the owner shows up and says, hey, I don't remember hiring you. Get out of my store. Okay, have it. Oh, we're dude, it's good. Sorry, bro. I got extra bounce. Okay. So basically, everyone, everything in the store is free today. Oh, you got a bounce. We're going to do a free oh, day. You got a remember, remember, you can't assault me. Remember yeah. that. Remember, remember. 100% I can. Oh, you can? Yeah, well, too. You gotta <laughs> okay. Get Want to bet that? Yeah. Here's the thing that <laughs> really like gets on many people's nerves, especially when they're trying to live their day to day lives, only to get pretty much assaulted by these TikTok influencer, Instagram types, whatever, is that uh, they double down. Whenever you call them out on their nonsense they don't get shame like a normal person does they double down and think they're somehow in the right like as he when he gets caught he starts saying everything's free in the store and then when the owner's like trying to get him out he says oh remember you can't assault me buddy he technically can you are in his store uninvited getting behind the register pretty sure he can and call call that self-defense and as such because your intentions are not really good right here so anyways this individual continues to be a menace and they shove the camera in the owner's face and that's gonna lead into the next altercation which <laughs> again it just looks like a little chihuahua trying to pick a fight with a junkyard german shepherd kind of dog bro's grabbing our phone and shit bro Let's go. You don't want to fight? You said you box. Yeah, I do box. Bro, you grabbed our phone, bro. Let's go right here. Let's go. Come on. Don't do it. And he's got it on film. You're trespassing. You're trespassing. I'm the owner, bro. No, you cannot. You're not welcome here. Okay, right. See this time? We're going right to a Everyone, go to A and PM. Do not shop here. Fuck 7-Eleven. Everything's free. He constantly stays outside the store and continues to antagonize the owner. And the owner has every right to whoop him because like he said this is trespassing it boggles my mind like <laughs> these, these kind of they're everywhere these days they try to start fights pick fights and one of these days someone's gonna snap somebody who works a nine to five is gonna snap and beat these people within an inch of their lives. Don't don't mess with retail workers. They, they've been through a lot. Now, the thing is, clout chasing has been a disease for a long time now, and it's gotten even worse since the biggest clout chasers have been shown to have all these Lamborghinis, money, and whatnot. So it's inspiring other low lives to come out of the woodwork and emulate it. And one can say that making a video about them or talking about them it gives them what they want because it's all rage bait that's what they make their money off of is engagement you watch their videos get their clips stuff like that comment on them but i think we should still talk about these guys because they need to be shamed they need to be brought down to earth because if they don't they're gonna keep inspiring other pranksters to keep one-upping the degeneracy that keeps coming to the point we're gonna have just straight up brawls in the middle of the street as a tiktok prank and funny enough the next video is just that now i can't show it completely but this uh adult man is uh, going around doing a prank where he does the diamond head. It's like a wrestling move where you walk past, grab them like this, and then drop down. Uh, not a pretty move. And for unsuspe unsuspecting people, it might as well be a sucker punch to the back of the head. Ow, my knee. That wasn't enough. Uh, this next one is where he does it on a guy in crutches. I, I wish I was making that up. I wish this was staged actually, but these people definitely look like they're getting injured. <laughs> he then proceeds to constantly to keep doing this throughout the streets and, um, yeah, the last guy he does it to, that's what made me think that yeah, this is definitely real. This isn't like him doing it with his friends or whatnot. 
those were actual people and they're just trying to go through their day-to-day -day lives and some TikToker decides they want to try out for the WWE and they're the test dummy here. Imagine that, huh? Imagine trying to get through what's already a miserable life with inflation and whatnot and then you have these annoying pranksters who will put these videos up and make more money than you'll ever do in a week really uh, burns your skin and boils your blood. But that's not just the most irritating thing. It's the fact that these adults that are doing it are inspiring the next generation to do it as well. And what's unfortunate is the next prank is even more violent and is done by someone even more younger. Again, I'm not going to show exactly the what he does because that youtube might take it down um all i could say is this kid's prank is basically going up to a person behind them and just sucker punching them and then laughing like a psycho joker also there's no audio so i'm just gonna have to talk so he runs up to this person who's just being jogging whatever and just sucker punches him and yeah, the, the man turns around to see what the hell happened and nope, he's just giggling and walking off. I could see the old man's trying to reason with this idiot, make sure he doesn't throw his future away just going around, but he gets back on it and goes for another victim. This one even worse than the first one because he continues to hit him even when he turned around. And he tries, the, the guy tries to walk away from the teen only for him to keep bopping him upside the head. It's just, it's insane. Kid, kid got arrested. I say kid, but turns out he's 19. But still, pretty young, pretty young. And most likely got inspired by this other bizarre trend of being just an awful human being. That gets rewarded and that's why they think they're incentivized to keep doing it. And the thing is, if we don't call these TikTok pranks as what they really are, assaults, harassment, trespassing, uh, you're going to just constantly see more like kids continue and follow the footsteps of these deranged adults. Uh, case in point is this last video of a kid going into a Wendy's and just screaming his brains out in the bathroom and being a menace for everyone in public society. I have to take a shit. Ah! It's coming out! It's coming out! We're gonna have to ask you to leave. Ugh. Or else I'm gonna call the cops. My asshole just split open. Okay, leave out. This, this kind of stuff... If it was done in the past in public, they would throw you in a mental asylum. Straight jacket and everything. There's no way in any universe, any civilization would have tolerated this. From Oonga Boonga caveman times to the Civil War era. I feel like this kind of behavior would be seen as you're possessed by a demon or something. But here we are in this day and age. The day and age where we see ourselves as intellectuals, we see ourselves more intelligent than our previous ancestors, and yet we seem to be the most deranged, the most out of touch with just, I don't know, being a normal human being. <sighs> they say bullying is um, what we need to bring back for people like this, but I could tell you one thing, these guy kind of people will turn bullying into a profit. That's what their whole thing is. Rage bait for their engagement is exactly what they want. You putting a comment of them, telling them to go like die in a fire, does not stop them. Uh, they threw away that part of shame long time ago. All they care about is the views, the comments, the likes, the dislikes, because it gives them the engagement in the algorithm to keep going, to keep doing this, and they'll keep making money to the bank and back. 
success really isn't about how much money you make because um, eventually this stuff does catch up to you. Like the case of Jack Dorothy or whatever his name is, his bodyguard like punched one of a party goer like last Halloween and now he's getting sued pretty badly. Um, hopefully he faces the consequences and reassesses his life because this ain't the path you want to be on, man. That's not to say every TikTok prankster is this just lobotomized patient that escaped of the asylum. Uh, there are some good ones while I was going through TikTok. Uh, so, for example, let's end it on a good note. You know what? Yeah, let's end it on a good note. This guy, uh, I just saw him randomly and pretty funny. But yeah, it's like he does this little mime routine. He's not hurting anyone. He does it in a nice public space, sure, but he's not hurting one, he's entertaining people, and he does what a prank is supposed to do, make people laugh. He doesn't cause anyone to be a victim or anything. Uh, I mean, I'm just speaking from this one video, I don't know if he does it from his others, but it's entertaining to the people who are watching. There are good pranksters out there, it's just they're buried beneath many of these other trash because drama and controversy sells more than someone who does a normal prank somehow somewhere these guys definitely need to reassess their lives because in 60 years if they're still alive and don't get beaten to a pulp by a pedestrian um your grandkids are gonna ask you gee what did you do for a living when you were young and if your response is i made tiktok pranks i hope they throw you in a retirement home the, the bad ones not the ones where you get bingo night and jello shots the ones where the nurses pretty much just leave you to vegetate in your room in a wheelchair but hey that's just me maybe that's too harsh maybe it's not uh or maybe the nursing home staff can do tiktok pranks on you or hologram pranks whatever we have in the future i had to take a quick shower just to get my thoughts back and feeling clean after watching all the depravity but yeah so in the past people like this would have just been labeled as the village idiot and uh Whenever that happened, they were just thrown into one of these bad boys right here. They would then proceed to throw rotten tomatoes and other fruits at this individual. And I honestly think that's kind of the way to go. Th these kind of people need to be shamed. Uh, influencers, as much as we like to laugh and joke about them, they do hold a certain power within our societies is that they inspire whether their own generation or the generation them that comes after. But it causes it causes a ripple effect that we're seeing happening today uh so people like jack dorothy neon that guy who was in japan causing you know all that ruckus they grew up watching people like the paul brothers and other crazy pranksters who did dumb things on camera for youtube and this is them now as adults they watched them as kids now they become adults and now they're doing it and the next batch will be inspired by them and we're going to be in this constant downward spiral again which is going to cause a lot of trouble in the future for plenty of people who are just trying to live their day-to-day -day lives and that's just unfortunate that you just become a prop for these TikToker, YouTuber, Instagram people to be made fun of. And then they would take that and make bank off of it. Yeah, we, we really need to change the trajectory of where we're going here. But thankfully, more people are being aware of these public nuisances and they're either suing them or straight up just throwing fists with them. Yeah, so at the end of the day, it's a strange future we're in <laughs> but then again that's with everything that's constantly popping up in trends and technology and discoveries but yeah i mean this is just a fraction of human beings thankfully majority of humanity still wants to just live a decent life and not be annoying so we'll see where we go from here then and i guess that's all there is